Mexico's former top cop is guilty of being a traitor. Gennaro Garcia Luna was convicted in New York Tuesday by a federal jury for aiding one of Mexico's most powerful drug cartels. News Nation's Dre Clark joins us live, and Dre uh, took the jury three days for this. Yeah, Mitch, good morning. It did take the jury three days, and they ultimately agreeing with prosecutors that Gennaro Garcia Luna helped the Sinaloa drug cartel smuggle more than 50 tons of cocaine into the U.S. Prosecutors called in former members of the cartel to testify against Luna. They claimed he received more than $200 million in bribes. Luna is a former leader of Mexico's federal investigation agency, and he served as minister of public safety. He worked closely with U.S. counter narcotics and intelligence agencies, and he met regularly with U.S. lawmakers and security officials who considered him a key ally in fighting the drug cartels. Luna was arrested in 2019 in Texas and pleaded not guilty, with his lawyers calling the men who testified against him liars. Tuesday, he was found guilty on five counts, including continuing a criminal enterprise and conspiracy to distribute cocaine. Luna is the highest ranking current or former Mexican official ever to be tried and convicted in a U.S. courtroom. Meanwhile, here's a look at former members of the Sinaloa cartel, beginning with Joaquin El Chapo Guzman. He was the leader of the cartel until his conviction in 2019 on drug trafficking charges. He's now serving a life sentence plus 30 years in a U.S. supermax prison. Sergio Villarreal Barragan testified against Luna at trial, as did Edgar Valdez Villarreal. Both men are also serving time in U.S. prisons. And Ismael Zambada remains a wanted man. It's believed he took over as leader of the Sinaloa drug cartel after El Chapo was arrested. Right now, the FBI is offering a $15 million reward for any information leading to Zambada's arrest. Meanwhile, Luna will be sentenced in May. He faces uh, 20 years to life in prison on just the continuing criminal enterprise conviction. Mitch. And Dre, you just mentioned multiple members of the cartel, and we know that this top cop probably wasn't doing this on his own because everybody that's doing something this big has a team. So is there something else or somebody else the U.S. Justice Department might look into in regards to the drug dealing and the drug supply into the United States from Mexico? Yeah, I think the cartels have such a vast uh, operation, a far-reaching operation, that this is only the beginning of U.S. officials continuing to track down uh, leaders of this cartel. Uh, as I mentioned a moment ago, Zambada is believed to be the leader of the Sinaloa draw cartel. And you can just get a sense of how serious the search for him is with the FBI offering a $15 million reward for any information leading uh, to his arrest. So we expect more arrests uh, to happen in the future. Uh, but we should mention that El Chapo was also convicted in this same courtroom uh, in 2019 here in New York City. So this is a situation that the U.S. is taking very seriously because every day they continue to smuggle drugs like fentanyl, marijuana, and cocaine into the U.S., which is responsible for killing thousands of people all across the country. Mitch. Dre, thank you for that update. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.